Uh, well, my name's Chris Renton and um, I'm 50 years old. You're 50 now? 50, it's fantastic. Oh, it is. Yeah. When were you 50? Well, uh, I did this last year um, for the first time and on the last day, the 10th day, um, I turned 50 and it was just an amazing experience yeah. um, to even um, do this, to celebrate in that way. Fantastic. Fantastic. So has it been a good 50th year so far then? So far so good and uh, keep it going. Excellent. And where are you from? Melrose. Melrose is Melrose. A, um, it's a town in the Scottish borders. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's good, uh, good running routes up there as well. And I, I mean, you know, people who watch these videos will know who you are, but I mean, just tell, for, for those that haven't, just tell people a little bit about your running experience and how it was for you last year. Uh, well, I started running in 2008. Um, I was somewhat overweight. Um, and I ran a few miles at a time, just trying to build it up. Um, and very quickly, um, I, I really just got into it. I almost became a running bug uh, that I developed, and uh, I started entering races, etc. And then I think um, the 2014 event here, 10 and 10, was just an experience that I've always wanted to do for three or four years, but I was never ready at that time. But it's something I wanted to achieve was to complete the 10th day of the 10 and 10, um, and doing it for such a fantastic charity. Um, just they both go hand in hand. It's fantastic. And yeah, I mean, you seem to really enjoy it. I loved it. You wouldn't believe how difficult it was. I yeah. Mean, I think every time I passed a camera yourself or someone else taking pictures, I had a, a smile on my face. But that, that wasn't the, the full story. Um, yeah. There was so much pain inside, mentally and physically, just getting around every single day. But the support we had um, through the, the Bracey Trust really kept us going um, and it's something that I find very difficult to de describe to people yeah um, but I, I know exactly what I went through and I know how difficult it was um, yeah it, it was great to be finished every day knowing that I've done it and I'm going to be there at the start line the day after and you're back again in <laughs> spite of knowing that <laughs> why <laughs> that's a brilliant question Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I just more or less said um, a minute ago about uh, the support here and um, how it's so well organised, uh, such an experience, meeting all these uh, tremendous people, meeting the, some people who, who the money goes towards, mm -hmm. um, you know, the vulnerable kids that are going around here, and just to see them improving their own lives by themselves with a little help from the Brady Trust, uh, it means so much um, yeah. and that's why I want to come back. I want to really keep raising that money for them um, because it doesn't just stop when I finish raising. This is something that goes on all the time yeah. uh, and so it's great to be back to help them again. Excellent, yeah good on you, well done. And I mean why is the, the Brady course itself and the <coughs> disadvantage, uh, helping disadvantaged young people, why is that a course that resonates with you? I. Not many people know this, but I went through a really bad experience um, when I was 12, 13 years old. Um, it's not something I want to give a lot of detail to, um, but this was back in the 70s. And now back then all we had was um, a telephone book, as far as you like, and a telephone. There was nothing like the support you can get nowadays mm -hmm. um, with the internet and Google and you know, there's much more support going about for the vulnerable children. Um, and I just want to give something back that I never got Yeah. and that is the help and support and knowing that there is people out there waiting for them uh, to be helped, you know. And Brady is over that. Brady is, is top of the pile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's pretty good motivation. What do your uh, friends and family think about you doing it again? They think I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm absolute nuts. I feel sorry for my wife, Caroline. Um, she's going to be another running widow for another year. Um, Caroline, who won't be on camera except when I can. That's the you. one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get her. Uh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> That's my challenge. <laughs> but very gradually and slowly, people are beginning to realise that I'm going back for 2015 yeah. uh, to do it all over again. And they think I'm, I'm just absolutely nuts. But 
the majority of them know why I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, and that's the important thing. And I've, I've had a good number of incredible individual donations from these people, mainly the guys at work, but some online um, who I never even expected to come from. They just put so much money into my Just Giving page. Mm. Um, I, it's breathtaking. It really does. It takes my breath away how supportive they are of me and the, the, the trust. It's really good. It makes it all worthwhile. Mm. But I think maybe that's to do with the transparency of why you're doing it and the work that it's doing. And yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, quite apart from the fact it's a hell of a challenge anyway. <laughs> so, but how has the fundraising gone so far? So, so far, so good. I'm lucky um, that I'm able to organise uh, some local races around Melrose. Yeah. Um, and all the money um, through the entries from that is going directly to. Uh, the Brady Trust and, and it's really doing well this year, um, a lot better than last year. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, uh, I must be doing something right <laughs> as far as organising these races. Um, and even like the Christmas pudding race we had in December, um, the numbers doubled, um, yeah, which is fantastic. And I, I think that's down to word of mouth yeah, uh, word without, without being big headed. Um, they know it's a good race in December and want to to look out for. Yeah. And, and you cannot beat word of mouth, you know. And what about the training? How's the training going? Okay, it's um, bits and pieces. I, I just come back from a 26 mile run this morning, um, which went really well. Yeah. And I'll go back out tomorrow morning for another 26 miles, and that's a good solid, solid base uh, yeah. to start with, you know. Um, so far, I'm keeping quite injury free, yeah. and something that often creeps up on me unexpectedly is, is picking up an injury. I'm a little bit injury prone, but um, touch wood I've been doing really well so far and long may that continue. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> and um, in terms of just looking forward to May, I mean, you obviously know what's coming up, but I mean, what are you most looking forward to? Just being part of the, the Brathy family is what they call it here. Um, everyone looks out for each other. There's no egotistical people around here, we're all in this together and if someone fails um, with a small injury but can continue, they will pick them up. We're all going to have down days and these guys will pick us up. If I have a down day, say day six, I know they'll be there for me. If someone else has one day eight, for example, I'll be there for them. Just make sure they get to the start line and they know that we're all behind them sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, you've seen that in practice, working, yes, you know, yes. the new people who, who are coming into it haven't yet seen that. I mean, they obviously haven't experienced the, mm -hmm. the sort of the, the highs and the deep lows, so to speak. But uh, There's a lot of those, yeah. there's a lot of those, as well as some highs, especially crossing the finish line on day 10. But getting to the start line every day, that's a high for me, yeah. because I know I'm more or less guaranteed to finish that race. So yeah, um, it just gets me ready for the next day. Uh, so that's a good high for me as well. Um, looking forward to May, um, could you just try and sum up in one word how you're feeling? I cannot do it in one word. Um, um, Godfather, Albatross and Carry On Camping. I think that says it all. That's 150 quid to Friday. Well done. That's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs>